Okay, guys, welcome back to the supplement review. Now, we are in week who the fuck knows of quarantine. I haven't seen a barber in a very long time, and this is embarrassingly the most of a beard I've ever grown. But I am using this time to crack through some of the backlogger reviews, and one of those reviews is Pre Pro by a brand called Strong Duck. Now, this is a review that I've been working on for a long time. My apologies to the brand. They sent me this product fucking ages ago, and with everything that's going on, it's just taken an extra long time to put together. But I did want to bring you guys this review because this is the brand that's doing things a little bit differently. Pre Pro is their pre workout and it's got an interesting combination of ingredients including a built-in GDA and ashwagandha. Now we're going to get an expert formula breakdown from Court Cooper aka Ask Court formulator behind the Biohack Pharmaceuticals range and he's going to tell you what he thinks of the formula of pre-pro and we've also got a panel of independent testers who are going to give you their thoughts and I've taken this for a week as always and I'm going to give you an update on the strength board and where I think this sits in the overall leaderboard. So first of all we're going to go to the public. What do they have to say about pre-pro by Strong Duck? The tasting for me, I would give a 7 out of 10. It was a bit spicy for my liking. I like something a bit smoother whilst I'm actually drinking it. I don't like to taste the fizziness and that's what it gave me. The texture overall was quite good. It was grainy on when I got to the bottom. I do believe that's because I didn't shake it up too well. And my shaker is really needing some updating. So a bit spicy isn't too good. It doesn't smell the best, so let's give it a go. Tastes a bit like vinegar. Um, yeah, I have no other words to say apart from that. It, it's not the best taste. Um, I'll let you know how I'll get on. So Tariq's been kind enough to send me out some pre-pro to try out. Doesn't doesn't smell great. Um, let's see. Oh. Uh, that's not a good taste at all. Um, hopefully the effects were a lot better than it tastes. So we'll see how we get on. This morning I'm testing pre-workout by uh, pre-pro by Strong Dog. Um, it seems to have mixed pretty well. Uh, it's got brown brown look to it, it looks like Corolla, but it doesn't smell like Corolla. Give it a try. Um, yeah, it doesn't taste like Corolla, um, but I wouldn't say it's very enjoyable. Um, but yeah, let's go to the gym and let's see if uh, the workout is better than the taste. Yo, so here we are. Today I am going to be sampling for the supplement review uh, the uh, the Pro Pre by Strong Duck. Um, so yeah, let's get it on it. If you want any sick quality merch or shakers, it is highly recommended you go visit the website and buy it all up because it is good and it's quality. But yeah, let's get it in the shaker. So yeah, free pro, sorry, strong duck. Don't like the smell of it. It kind of tastes like it smells. It's almost spicy. Not keen on the taste. Yeah, it's kind of spicy. It's weird. It's got like a spicy sort of touch to the taste there. Almost like, like oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like cayenne, almost cayenne pepper in there. Yeah. Odd. Not too keen on the taste. Let's see how it performs. Legs today. Over and out. Thank you again to the supplement review for sending me uh, these samples to try out. Uh, this one is the Pro Pre. I believe it's in cola flavor. Yeah, cola flavor. Um, it's mixed very, very well. There's no frothy bits. So yeah, let's give it a go. I wouldn't say that's pleasant. Um, it's drinkable, but not too pleasant, if I'm honest. It's, it's quite sharp. Not very bitty at all, though, but it leaves a lasting taste on your tongue. To be fair, it's not one of my favorite tasting ones. Um, but yeah, let's see what's gonna do. Hi guys, this is my review of Repro. 
mix it all up. Um, there's a lot of it still you can see. So mixability isn't too good. It doesn't smell the best, so let's give it a go. Tastes a bit like vinegar. Um, yeah, I have no other words to say apart from that. It, it's not the best taste. Um, I'll let you know how I'll get on. So, Tariq's been kind enough to send me out some pre pro to try out. Doesn't, doesn't smell great. Um, let's see. Sure. Uh, that's not good taste at all. Um, hopefully, the effects were a lot better than it tastes, so we'll see how we get on. The overall product, um, it did get me stimulated for the gym. It did give me a good pump, and the cognitive focus on it was really great. I do rate that an 11 out of 10. Apart from the taste and a little bit of the texture before it goes down, it's a great product overall. I would highly recommend it for a leg day, or a pull session. But yeah, I definitely use it again. So, that's the session done. Um, I didn't manage to get through the pre-workout. The taste was too off-putting. Um, I think what it was, was the black pepper extract. It was a bit too overpowering for me. But for what I did have, I did have a bit of an energy burst, but personally, it's not one I could recommend due to the taste. If I can't finish it, then what was it buying it? So for me to know, fortunately. Yep, so just finished my workout. Yeah, it was a decent pre workout. I enjoyed it. Uh, a nice little bit of stimulant this morning to wake me up. I needed that on a Monday morning. And it got a nice little pump off it. Only bad thing is really the, the taste, really. I think if the taste was improved, it would be a lot better. And uh, I would definitely buy it then. Yep, thank you. Good afternoon. So. Today's session was fueled by Strong Duck Pre Pro. I didn't like the taste, not one bit. Did not like the taste. Had a spiciness to it, which I didn't understand. Um, and I think that was responsible for giving me a little acid indigestion through my session. Very early on in the session, it, it, it did go away. So yeah, so not too keen on the taste at all. In regards to the performance, though, I, I did enjoy it, very good. Uh, the energy was good through the workout. It got me started really well, and the focus stayed throughout the workout as well. So in that respect, it was um, very good. Yeah, I had a good workout with it. I trained legs. It was a long session, and I felt good throughout the whole of the session. So very good, very good indeed. But the taste, not for me. I don't know anybody out there that wants a spicy pre-workout. Other than that, spot on. I'm really, really disappointed this one. It's not a massive fan and I wouldn't recommend it or buy it myself. I just wasn't a fan. The flavour was disgusting. It lingered in your mouth for a very, very long time. Very, very acidic. Um, didn't really taste exactly what it was meant to either. Um, it, it, yes, it's not very nice at all. Um, Pump-wise, stim-wise, okay, yeah, it's quite, quite strong stim again, but again, the focus wasn't there. So, thoughts on the pre-pro. Um, I liked it. Um, MG, very good, very smooth. Pub performance, nothing special, not bad. But the main thing I didn't like about it though was the taste. Um, if you can get pub taste, it's a good product, but I wouldn't buy it because I couldn't deal with the taste at all. Um, the taste throughout the, the whole workout sat down at the back of my throat, but if you can get past that, yeah, it's a good product. So thank you very much guys. Now in addition to that, I also took this for a week and these are my thoughts. It's really hard to get away from flavor with this particular product. It isn't the be all and end all, but there is nothing on the market that tastes like this. They say it's cola flavor. It tastes closer to curry. It's the only thing I've ever had that's spicy. If you can get past that, then actually I had really good training sessions on this. It's really strong. The idea of having a GDA built into your pre-workout is an interesting idea. It shows the brand is trying to do things outside of the box. It's an interesting all-in-one formula. You've got pumps, stims, and nootropics in there. It's just very difficult to get away from that taste. Now, while taste is not the only factor by any stretch of the imagination, there is a limit to that statement. And I think this may just sit on the far side of that limit. It is really interesting to see a new brand come 
to market and try and do things differently. It shows this outside of the box thinking and it's definitely a brand that I would be encouraging and supporting as they bring out more and more products. Why does it hit so hard? For a formula breakdown, we turn to Court Cooper, AKA Ask Court, for his thoughts on the formula for pre-pro. <laughs> I've not been lucky enough to try this formula, so I can't give you a my experience kind of talk with this product. I can just tell you from my knowledge what I like about this product, what I don't like about this product, what I find a bit confusing about this product, and kind of give you a general gist of what does what. I can't tell you exactly what it feels like. I can just tell you a few things about it. It kicks off with, firstly, I have a bit of a pet peeve. This is pet petty but I don't like when formulas are not in categories of ingredients which is extremely petty I know I'll try and put that aside 400 milligrams of caffeine and hydra so you're not probably gonna know what caffeine feels like 400 milligram it is a good dose at the upper range of which you'll find it in pre-workout so that that's something you actually will feel having this product glycerol monosterate I'm not a fan of glycerol monosterate when it comes to glycerol I really do like Glycer Pump or Glycer Size and Hydromax. The reason being they supply 65% actual glycerol standardization. Glycerol Monastery can be anywhere. The molecular weight suggests there can't be more than 25% um, of glycerol, which will actually yield a lower percent. So I don't know about that part. This is the part, a little bit of a thing I'm confused on, but I bush past that. I'm not a massive fan of Glycerol Monastery. Beta Alanine at 3.5 grams, which is a great dose. That's gonna convert into carnosine, which carnosine's gonna act like lactic acid buffer. So that's gonna be good for performance and endurance. Citrulline malate, another one I'm not too keen on, but that's my personal preference. You can have the debate over citrulline malate. It's it's 50% if it's not standardized, so it doesn't say two to one, so it's, you take it for one to one. So that means half the amount of actual citrulline and another half of malic acid. So it's gonna give you 2.5 grams citrulline, 2.5 grams of malic acid. But that's my personal preference, but depends on what you're using it for. A gram of taurine is good. Taurine's a fantastic ingredient. It will increase cellular hydration, so increase hydration and performance. It's been shown to boost performance, athletic performance acutely, so it's not like a beta alanine or a creatine, which is a saturation product. It will work acutely, so taking a free workout will have an effect in that workout, which is great. Where I really do like it is one to two grams, which is exactly what we've got here. So anytime you see taurine, I'm happy. And acetyltyrosine, the current data pointed towards in acetyltyrosine, really not being the inferior, the inferior product to tyrosine itself. Many people, again, like the citrulline mali, anecdotally feel an acetyl tyrosine more, but if you're using tyrosine for its synthesis into dopamine, you're gonna actually get and be provided more tyrosine for that, and it's not better absorbed like we've like we spoke about, so I would always optionally go for tyrosine over in acetyltyrosine. We have choline bitartrate. Choline bitartrate, I get a bit of a bad rap because it actually doesn't provide as efficiently alpha GPC and CDP choline. But you have other things in here which can smooth that process along like acetylcarnitine, can provide the acetyl part to the choline kind of fundamental layer to create acetylcholine, which is what we want to do pre-workout. So and also you've got alpha lipoic acid in here, which I'm not too sure why they not too sure the reason they put it in, maybe because it's a GDA, but it can increase glucose uptake to convert into acetylcoenzyme A, which will then also, it has an ability to increase chat, which is choline acetyl transferase, which is transfers the acetyl part from acetylcoenzyme A onto choline to create acetylcholine. I'm not too sure that that's what they've specifically done, specifically with acetylcarnitine as well, but that's what is in here and that's what is a potential to happen so i'll let you know about it citrus orantium is usually standardized for a very potent um, stimulant called zinephrine i don't know this is the part where i've said the stuff i like the said stuff i'm not a fan of this is the part i'm not too sure of with any form of citrus orantium on the label i don't know whether this is 30 percent standardized for zinephrine i don't know if it's 50 or some brands put zinephrine in the tub at that dose but label it as citrus orantium in this country now it's at 400 milligrams so for me that would suggest either a 30 or a 50. we have 200 milligrams of beetroot extract which is usually standardized for its nitrate nitrates will increase levels of nitric oxide lower oxygen cost 
and improve performance, things like that. But but 200 milligrams isn't a huge dose, but I'll never turn my nose up at a bit of beetroot extract. Electrolyte powder, I'm not too sure how evenly split the electrolytes are, just as electrolyte powder. Tiacrine and Dynamine, these both from Compound Solutions will inhibit adenosine receptors like caffeine will, but without the increase in blood pressure and positively impact dopamine. So these are really two good doses, 150 milligrams of TAP and 120 milligrams of Dynamine. That's how I really like that as in terms of a push and form of stimulant personally. I love theobromine like Tiacrine, like Dynamine, caffeine, or where I want to situate myself in the pre-workout um, sector which is fantastic here. The acetylcarnitine like I spoke about before. You have ashwagandha extract. I'm not too sure what standardization is for with anodes which is usually what you want to use it for which actually can be an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor as well. So we'll play a function in here. Black pepper extract will inhibit cytochrome enzymes to en enhance the bioavailability of the ingredients in here. It's also an MAO inhibitor as well, but not, not many people speak about that. Alpha Loco has, like I said before, and choline picolinate as well. So it has a fair way of good stuff, a fair stuff I don't personally like, and then a stuff that I'm not too sure on. So without trying the product, I would love to tell you. I would love to end it like that, but Tariq is a conservative. If you're not too sure if you you know that, he votes Tory and will not send me any samples of anything. So that's all I would say on it. I would just like to give you an open view on the ingredients, what I personally like, don't like, I'm not too sure on. And I think as well with the caffeine, the acetylcarnitine, the dynamine and the teacrine and the citrus rantium, it's not going to feel bad. This isn't, this isn't going to be something that is going to be a terrible time but there's stuff that I don't like about so I'll leave it up to you I have a real feeling that actually the effectiveness of this product would be very pleasant very uplifting very energy like focus driven so I would, if I ever do try it I'll update you but for now I um, hope you're staying safe and keeping well that's great, thank you very much, Court. So in summary, it is a very strange tasting product, but if you can get over that, it hits really hard and it's an interesting formula. Pre-Pro is $29.99 for 20 servings, so it sits about mid-table in the price point, and it is an all-in-one product, so you wouldn't need to take a pump product with this, although you could stack it with your favorite pump product if you wanted to. It might help mask some of that spicy taste. In terms of the overall leaderboard, I would put it about here. It's definitely on the good side, but that flavor is pretty hard to get over. Now, strength-wise, I would put it up here. It's on a par with some of the best things that I've tried in terms of strength, and it's definitely something that hits hard. So overall conclusions, it's not for the faint of heart, but it definitely hits hard. It gets a thumbs up in terms of its effectiveness and its strength. It's definitely a thumbs down in terms of taste. I think the guys at the brand knew that was definitely gonna be the case. But if you wanna support a new independent British brand who are doing things a little bit differently, you like the idea of having a GDA built into your pre-workout, then it's definitely something you can go and cop from their website. I'll put a link to that down below. Thank you very much to the guys at Strong Duck for sending me out a tub. I'm sorry this review took so long, but I appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Traffic tickets had too many. I was getting stopped. Never happened when I'm by my